Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the blinking cursor typewriter console effect that is brand new in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. So in order to follow along, make sure that your version of After Effects is 23.0 or later. First, I created a new composition, 1920 by 1080 pixels, 10 seconds in duration. Then I just added a background image of this retro keyboard, and then I added a text layer. So click on T for the type tool. If you just click and start typing in the type tool, well, it's just never gonna end unless you hit the enter return. But if you click and drag out a little box, well, now you have a text or a paragraph box that's gonna contain the text within that box. Pretty cool. The font that I'm using is called Calling Code and it is available on Adobe Fonts. So with the text layer selected, I'm just gonna go to the Align panel and just make sure it's aligned horizontally in the center of the composition. Then go up to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, just go to the Window menu, Effects and Presets. In the search field, you can just type out Typewriter you'll see two effects under the animate in text category, but we want this blinking cursor typewriter console. Before you apply the effect, first make sure that your playhead is all the way at the beginning of the timeline. Then with the type layer selected, you can just double click right on the effect or just click and drag it right on the composition window. If I tap the space bar, you'll see that the effect has already been applied to the text layer. To customize the effect, we're gonna use the effect controls panel if you look at this first property, you'll see that the stopwatch is highlighted, indicating that After Effects has already added keyframes for this property. So with the text layer selected, if I tap U, that will reveal all the keyframes. The first keyframe, the slider is at zero, so you can't see the text. And the second keyframe is at 100, so this is the end of the animation. If you wanna slow it down, just click on the second keyframe, drag it down the timeline, and that slows down the animation. If you don't want the animation to start right away, but you want to see the blinking cursor, we can select the first keyframe, drag it down the timeline a little bit. Now you'll see the cursor will just blink, and when it gets to the first keyframes, it'll start animating on the text. To show or hide the cursor, you can just click on this little checkbox right here. You can change the type of cursor that you see. There's a whole bunch of options here in the cursor shapes. And then the cursor blink speed, that's just gonna be how fast or slow the cursor is actually blinking in place. So if you crank it way up, now you see you have a really fast cursor. If you bring it down to a lower value, now it'll be slower. And the cursor is just part of the text layer. So if you need to change the color or the size, you can just use the character panel. And if you wanted to pause the animation where you just see the blinking cursor, well just drag your playhead to where you want the pause to start Click on the diamond next to the animation slider property. I can just copy that keyframe, command C, move forward in time a little bit and paste it. Now everything between those two keyframes is just gonna stop and resume after the second one. So I'll tap the space bar to preview. Now it's pausing and now it will resume to the end. And that is the blinking cursor typewriter effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.